fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, got a little special treat for you. Oh, yes, we do. So, this was requested by Mikey or Mickey? Mickey. No, Mikey. Mikey A. Yes, Mikey A. And Your Average Joe 42. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this came about, this conversation, but uh, people were saying, how much do you know about hip-hop? Nothing. I know, honestly, I know nothing about hip-hop, really. I've never really been much into the hip-hop scene, never gotten into it. Not because I didn't want to, but because I didn't know how. So it's, you know, do I have interest in getting into the hip-hop scene? Maybe, a little bit, here and there. Now... Don't go start throwing, you know, 5,000 suggestions for me to react to hip-hop tunes and stuff like that. Don't don't drown me in a tidal wave, okay? But, if, you know, if there's like a couple out there that, you know, say, hey, check this out. We'll give you a little taste. and That's fine. I can handle that, okay? Anyway, so these two gentlemen suggested that I react to this. This is Pearl Jam and Jay-Z performing together. A song that Jay-Z has written called 99 Problems. Now, do I know the song 99 Problems? I think I've heard it before. I would say more than likely I've heard it. Does it strike a chord with me? Like, do I do I have it memorized? No, but I'm almost positive I've heard this song before. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was with Linkin Park. Or yeah. Yeah, it was the collaboration between Jay-Z and Linkin Park. I heard this song, I think. So... Do I know what to expect from this? Kind of, sort of, but not really, because it's Pearl Jam, and it's live, so... Do it live! Pearl Jam and Jay-Z live. I have no idea how this is going to go. Like, whose show is this? Is this a Pearl Jam show that Jay-Z came on stage with? Was I, I can't imagine this is a Jay-Z show that Pearl Jam having to set up all their equipment for for one song. It makes a lot more sense that it's a Pearl Jam show with Jay-Z coming out with a mic. It's a lot easier to do. Maybe this was a festival. I don't know. I mean, I have, I have no clue. Only one way to find out, huh? This was posted by Jason Schwitzer, and this video has 56,888 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's nothing else to say. Let's just jump into this. Link to the original video will be down in the, in the description below for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Other than that, we're ready to get started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. This is Pearl Jam and Jay-Z, Made in America Festival. Okay, so this is a festival. Makes life a lot easier. So Made in America Festival, September 2nd, 2012. All right. This should be fun. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I love what Jeff is doing. I don't know if you can see what he's doing. I'm going to back it up. He's he's doing what I call creating hum. What he's doing is with his right hand, he's got his right hand not touching any of the strings. He's got his right hand hovering just above the body. And he's using his pinky and his thumb, and he's doing this. He's, he's hammering his pinky and his thumb against the body of the bass. Causing resonance within the bass, causing the string, whichever string he wants, to rattle and create a hum. That's so I do the same thing a lot in a lot of music I do. I, I've done that quite frequently, so I know exactly what he's doing. Very cool. I'm kind of I'm actually kind of glad to see I'm not the only one that does that. Because I haven't seen I've never seen anybody else do it until now. So bonus points automatically for Jeff and Matt doing that. Level them up, absolutely. Uh, let, let, let's do that again. I, I gotta see that again from the top. Let's go.
already owning the stage. Jay Z is already owning the stage. Walks up to the front, just looks at the crowd, and raises a hand like, "Are you guys ready for this?" And the crowd responds. He doesn't have to say a word. That's when you know you've got great command of the stage and you own the crowd. When you can get a response out of the crowd without saying a word. You just walk out, look at the crowd, raise a hand, and the crowd responds. You know, you know you've got them. That's the fact, Jack! Oh, yes, you do. And right now, he's got them. Oh, yeah, he does. Let's keep going. I wonder how much these guys rehearse together. And I, I'm saying that because Jeff is like actively watching everybody. Like he's on, I, I hate to say he's on edge, but he's really keeping an eye on what's going on. Like he doesn't want to miss something like, oh God, don't let me make, don't let me be the one to mess up here. Um, I have a feeling they rehearsed. I can't imagine they didn't rehearse at least a couple times. Uh, let's talk about what the band is doing. I I don't know anything about hip-hop, really, so I am not one to sit there and judge what Jay-Z is doing. I can only assume that what he's doing is right, okay? It sounds good. It doesn't stick out. It doesn't go... What he's saying is not going against what the band is playing, so... My guess is he's doing everything right. Let's talk about what the band is doing. They're playing a style, a very backbeat style to let Jay-Z shine. And I've always said that that's great about Pearl Jam, especially Eddie Vedder taking a step back. Eddie's over here playing a guitar. Mike is over here so he can jump on the mic if needed or if he wants to. But right now he's just playing color noise. He's just doing, you know, background stuff. It really is about bass and drums for this. I get the feeling because the drummer's got this backbeat going and Jeff is, he's playing a line, but it's not a super aggressive line. It is a moving line to help keep everything going within the contest of the song and keep the song moving forward, but not overbearing and not overpowering. Guitars are coming in on the ones, you know, and on the fours back into the ones up to the second measure. So that they're playing in a two measure phrase. They're playing on one, and then two, three, four, one, two, three. And then on four of the second measure, and then one on the third measure. So they're playing ones and pausing through the phrase to the end of the phrase to play on the four, which is great. Very tasteful for this style of music. I don't know if this is typical, but it sounds great. Let's keep going. I'm 
Jay-Z looks like he's having a blast up there. I don't know if he normally plays with a live band or not. I don't know if he's ever played with a live band or not. I don't know. I don't know nothing about the guy. I know nothing about what he's done, you know, as far as performance goes with his history. I know he's contributed a lot to the music industry as a whole, but from a performer standpoint, I've never seen him perform, so I, I couldn't tell you. Um, it looks like he's having fun up there. It looks like he's having a good time. And the way he's interacting with the band and watching the band, I get the feeling this is not his first rodeo playing with a live band. So, I could be wrong. But it, just his facial expressions, the way he's looking, especially at the drummer, I get the feeling he's played with a live band before. So, which is cool. Let's get going. Okay, so Jay-Z walked off the stage. I have a feeling there's more here, but I don't think it has anything to do with Jay-Z. So I'm actually going to stop it there. Yeah, I'm going to stop it there. All right, well, there you go, folks. That was Pearl Jam and Jay-Z performing the song 99 Problems, requested by uh, Mikey A and Your Average Joe 42. So, on a scale of 1 to 10... Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock! Ah! Yeah, I'll give that... I'll give that an 8.0. Yeah, 8.0. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. So, like I said, when it comes to the world of hip-hop, I'm not going to stand here and pretend like I know what I'm talking about, because I don't. I, I know nothing about hip-hop, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like... I know everything about it and try to fool everybody because clearly I have no idea about this world and I'm not going to sit there and insult your intelligence by pretending that I do. That's the truth! So what I will say is what Jay-Z was doing was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, the guy is clearly a, a stage general. He steps out on stage, he'll walk up to the front of the stage, raise his hand, and gets an immediate crowd response. That, to me, shows a knowledge and an understanding of stage presence. So he knows how to do that. Uh, what he was doing with the band, with Pearl Jam, sounded really good. Now, was it correct? I don't know. <laughs> it's It didn't sound wrong, so I can only assume that it was correct. I don't know if he messed up any of the lyrics. I don't know the song. So, I mean, it again, everything sounded right. If he did make a mistake, he hit it well because he never showed it on his face that he they screwed up. He didn't sit there and go, oh, God, I messed up again. He never did that. So did he make mistakes? I don't know. I can only assume that he did not because he never showed it, which is important in showmanship. Never, ever, ever let the crowd see that you made the mistake. As far as the crowd knows, you meant to do it. Let's talk about the band. Pearl Jam doing a great job supporting Jay-Z and I use that word supporting because clearly it's Jay-Z's song it's Jay-Z up at the front is this the time for Pearl Jam to be stealing the spotlight no this is not this is the time for them to showcase the guest which is what they did and they are so good at doing that they really are they never overplayed they never stuck out they never took the spotlight away from Jay-Z. They just filled out and provided everything that Jay-Z needed in order to perform a song well. 
Drummer had that beat on lock. He really did. Jeff was playing some very cool, tasteful lines when necessary, but he wasn't overplaying. Same thing for the drummer. Same thing for the guitar players. In a situation like that, it's real easy to overplay. It's real easy to wear out your welcome, as I like to say, and take everything away from the guest artist, and you never want to do that. So kudos to Pearl Jam, all of them. The guitars were playing appropriately in spots with the ones waiting for the phrase, waiting until the next phrase to come back on four, which I thought was very, very tastefully done on their part. Super simple, super effective. And that goes for Eddie Vedder, too. I mean, I don't know if he did any vocals or not. It doesn't matter what he was doing with the guitar. Adding the, adding the color and background noise was really, really top marks. So a great job overall, okay? Now, the reason I'm giving this an 8.0 and not anything higher is because, quite frankly, I am a little confused as to was this a Pearl Jam show? Was this a Jay-Z show? It seems to be like this was a Pearl Jam show. I know nothing about the hip-hop world. I don't. Now, if I did know more about the hip-hop world, maybe I could give this a higher score. But as it stands, with my very limited knowledge of hip-hop, there's really nothing I could do about that. I'm basing it more on what Pearl Jam did, and what Pearl Jam did was great, but it was very basic. So, they are getting the 8.0. They are getting a, a great score. But I have to give it to them on the low end because... I have to give it to them on the low end because, quite frankly, they didn't do any, they do anything else more to warrant a higher score. It was really more about Jay-Z, so I feel good with that score. So yeah, 8.0, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys did enjoy the video and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you do join the fan base, there is a bell you will find down there that you can click on. By clicking on this bell, it will keep you up to date on everything that goes on with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, you want to stay in the know? Click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that does it for tonight, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.